Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Monday, November 7th, 2022. Well, we had quite an interesting Friday with big whipsaws that just probably challenged everyone wondering what in the world was going on. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can pick up some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, one of the things I continue to point out, and I think we need to continue to remind ourselves that we have a huge level of price resistance in the chart uh, right down through that area as you can see and we also have a significant level of price resistance in the chart that we have yet to deal with um, we've tried to to pop through that area and just haven't been able to quite get it done yet but that bounce back up on friday leaves us with some idea that we could certainly continue to move on higher although we did kind of break that resistance in the or that trend in the chart you can see we're still holding up pretty well and we may have um, enough energy to come back up here and test these levels in here notice that we held on to that level of price support by the close of the day Honestly, you know, I think anything is possible here today. There's an awful lot of emotion uh, going on in the market. So watch those resistance levels if the bulls can find inspiration. If we happen to find some bearish inspiration today, though there may be kind of a light day to even be able to find that, then if we were to find some of it, then look for pullbacks into this area here for price support. And if that doesn't hold, then maybe even substantially lower. So watch that closely. Now, unfortunately, these are big point moves. If I were to look at um, um, the Dow, just to measure this for us, if we measure from uh, Friday's high just to uh, Thursday's low, just notice that that's 842 points. So these point swings are very dramatic and can be, uh, you know, could really serve to just rip the face off of a trader if you um, over trade this market. So be very, very careful. Continue to watch for these substantial whipsaws, overnight reversals this week because we just simply have a lot of data coming our way. Let's take a look at our technicals here in the chart. Technically, we rallied up toward that 200-day moving average on Friday, noticing that in the pre-market <clears throat> this morning, we're pushing here to retest in a gap up open this morning to retest that 200-day moving average. And I think it's wise to keep an eye on that 500-day moving average above that and those resistance levels in the chart if we continue to push to the upside. We will notice that our shorter term moving averages are trying to catch up, but we're still very extended away from our 50 day moving average here in the Dow. Now, if we take a look at our SPY, um, uh, certainly not as clear of a chart for all that bullishness. If you'll notice right here, we have a fairly clear break of that upside trend and our rally back just pushed us right back here into a significant level of price resistance in the chart. And um, overall, our longer term trend, if we were to take a look that, uh, at that we still have quite a ways to go to get up there to test that um, longer term trend in the chart. And so let's take a, a quick peek. If we were to drop a line in here, um, perhaps if we can get those bulls moving to the upside, perhaps we can test this area resistance right in here. And if we can pop through that, maybe right into that area would be a logical area to test in the chart. If we really get going, then we could come back up here and try to test this high. But if those bulls find inspiration, I want you to notice that we tested down in here and we, we 
came really, really close to failing here on Friday when the Bulls came rushing back in um, after that ugly whipsaw um, in the day. Um, look for some support levels down in here if we lose that level in the chart. Now let's take a look at our technicals here. Our technicals here certainly substantially different than the Dow and that is we still have a declining 50-day moving average and we've got a resistance level formed up here in the chart around that 50-day moving average in price action so be kind of careful here and we do need to keep in mind our 200-day moving average cross down through the 500 here so we've got some work here to do in the SPY to show a little bit of confidence our QQQ is weaker still as you can see we really ran into a lot of trouble here in the NASDAQ and running um, in here on a technically bearish pattern. We broke the trend. We also did a lower high followed by a lower low. We broke this low and broke this low. And as we try to rally back, well, we've got quite a little bit of resistance in this chart to deal with. Notice we've got a resistance level in here that we're pushing up to test in the pre-market with that pre-market pop we've um we've certainly got um, a lot of challenges ahead here in the nasdaq and we heard this morning that um uh, we've got some issues with apple um, as china restrictions are slowing their production of iphones if you take a look at um, um, resistance above well we've got lots of opportunity to rally if we can find that inspiration um, in the chart but just notice we've got significant price resistance levels in that chart to deal with and if we take a look at our uh, technicals here in the chart they certainly are not bullish as you can see we've got substantial price resistance in the chart right up in this area with moving averages kind of confirming um, that resistance level in the NASDAQ. If we were to jump on over to the Russell, we get a very different picture here on IWM. IWM has held up quite bullishly, as you can see, pushing up here in the chart in a nice upside rally. And we really didn't give up that trend here in the chart. If you'll notice, we pulled back here on Thursday. We helped price support in the chart as the Russell continues to try and show us bullishness here. However, we still have this downtrend in the chart that still could pr provide some significant challenges to that upside move. And if we notice right across here, there is a significant price resistance level as well. So if we rally up toward there, watch that um, watch that resistance. Now, keep in mind, if those bulls find some inspiration here, I would not rule out that possibility that we rally up into an area right in here. There's a little bit of price resistance right in there or even push on through to that to retest that high that we saw here recently. Again, if those bears find that inspiration, well, a retest of this support could certainly be possible. And if that were to fail, then, well, it, it gets pretty bearish after that. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now, interestingly, even with the big whipsaw that we saw, we had no fear show up in the market here um, in the VIX. We seem to have an amazing confidence in these earnings reports and an amazing confidence in maybe the midterm elections and possibly even a holiday rally underway there just is no fear showing up here in the market we continue to sink in almost a straight line down um, in that chart that does make me a little uncomfortable and what that means is we're very extended in our indexes here in the chart um, in that short term picture, although we did hold that support on Friday. So keep a close eye on that. It just seems odd to me that with our economic numbers continuing to, to decline, not only here, but in China, in Europe, we're starting to, um, well, we're just really wanting to ignore that and continue to push on down. Now on Friday, as you guys know, I always show you this where that 25 handle area in the chart is a very big level and we gave that up on Friday. Um, even with that nasty whipsaw that we saw, we gave that up on Friday. So you gotta give that to the bulls and if they can keep that 
uh, track record going well maybe we just get um, uh, um, uh, that holiday rally that relief rally to continue to push in as we kind of continue to ignore the the data out there on our um, economy if we continue to look at our uh, t2122 t2122 gives us a little bit of concern still we pulled back substantially here in the chart but you can see we we opened up a fairly big upside opportunity um, here um, in that chart so if we can continue to find that inspiration we're finding it this morning in the pre-market pump they're pushing this up here toward that bearish reversal zone again and we could easily with a gap up open be right back up here in that high level now keeping in mind that that still means that although we have upside potential here we certainly have downside potential that could come into the market if we find that reason for bullishness remember to continue to watch for these whipsaws and these overnight reversals that can be pretty substantial Substantial. So plan your trading carefully, and I would I would recommend not to over trade a um, a market like this because if you've got too many positions in the market, and we get that big whipsaw or that big um, reversal, it can create an awful lot of pain in a trader's account very fast. Now, if we take a look at our T2108, going to give this one up to the bulls. As you can see, those bulls came in here on Friday, pushing that back up after that nasty whipsaw, pushing that back up. They held that support area in the chart. We still have that downtrend break holding in the chart. So I got to give that to the bulls. And uh, maybe we rechallenge some of these resistance levels in the chart above. Again, on T2107, going to have to give that to the bulls as well. Continued to hold on Friday, breaking that downtrend. We uh, came back to a little bit of price support, bounced off of that. 36% of our stocks holding above our 200 day. We've got significant resistance above, but hey, we may just push right into that first thing this morning. So bullish on these two metrics. They're trying pretty hard, as you can see, 58% of the stocks on that T2108 holding above almost 59%, holding above their 40 day moving average. Our T21 01 continues to show that momentum in this um, uh, bullish move. We're continuing to see that push through here. We'll want to watch some of these price levels in here, but right now, still got to give that one up to the bulls. They're hanging in there nicely. If we take a look at our economic calendar for uh, today, well, we've got um, kind of a light day on that economic calendar today with an awful lot of Fed speak. We're going to get just a parade of Fed speakers this week. They just can't seem to stop talking. But as you can notice in here, we've got a three month bond auction, a six month bond auction, which certainly may be important because we're seeing the short end of that curve driving up higher and higher and higher as that um, yield curve inversion continues to signal significant recession um, in the market. So watch that close. We've got um, a consumer credit report here today, um, um, investor mo um, uh, movement index, which probably won't matter at all. And then three Fed speakers, depending on how they talk, certainly could move the market here for the day. Um, looking forward, we have a kind of a Tuesday that is dead, except our midterm elections. Our midterm elections on Tuesday could certainly create um, quite a little volatility um, as those returns um, uh, you know, we start hearing poll numbers and things like that could create quite a little bit of volatility. Then remember, anything is possible Wednesday morning as a result of those earnings. So you'll want to watch that close. We've got more Fed speak um, on there and the petroleum status report, a 10 year note auction. Um, and then Thursday, Thursday's where it could get a little bit weird, and that's where we're going to get our CPI report on our jobless claims. So watch that closely. Um, kind of a light week consumer sentiment on Friday on those economic data. So that probably means that the earnings um, hype will kind of dominate the week here. Um, of course, we could hear economic numbers from China like we did last night that China's exports declined annual 
an annual decline, first annual decline since 2020. So watch that close. And then um, let's take a look at our earnings calendar. We've got a real busy week. Um, there's over 700 companies on the calendar expected to report this week. It's going to be wild and crazy, but we have, you know, just a few notables for today on the list. Remember, we're going to start hitting a lot of the small cap reports in here, things that are not likely to move the market all that much. So you'll want to keep an eye on that. Now, we're going to hear some reports here from um, Activision today. Keep an eye on Activision. Looks like they gap down and trying to push right back up here this morning. Seeing a lot of that here lately. Earnings are bad. They gap down and then everybody just rushes in to buy. So watch that close. We We've got um, reports from um, ASH that will be in here today. We've got a Lyft that will be reporting today. We're going to hear from Mosaic today. We've got uh, PLTR that's going to report. TTWO will be in the reports today. We've got uh, TripAdvisor that will be in here and we're going to hear from well now keep in mind that's not all the notables that i've put on the um in the blog today so you may want to click that link just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog and you'll want to make sure that you can, that you know where that is because this week we're really going to have a lot of earnings um, on that blog so watch that close let's take a look at some charts that could be setting up and please keep in mind these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you should be very very careful do your own due diligence and just realize the volatility of this market is going to likely make it very very challenging in the days and weeks ahead so keep a close eye on that and um, trade your um, trade ideas don't blindly follow anyone else's trade idea let's take a look at some of these that could be setting up in here um, let's first off take a look at Nvidia Nvidia has got a nice little pattern here as you can see pushing up and, and I mentioned this last week um, trying to push through and you can see I have a price alert here on the chart and we popped up through there on Friday now I didn't buy it on Friday it's just one of those things I, I tend not to be a big buyer on Friday um, like to be more of a profit taker um, but we'll want to keep a close eye on this Nvidia has got earnings coming out on the 16th and one of the things we've been seeing here recently is we've been getting lots of rally even in these texts that have proven to not report very well we're getting a lot of um, rally in them heading into those earnings reports so keep an eye on that now we do have to remember that we still have an overall downtrend that we need to defeat in here and we've got substantial price resistance in the chart that we need to get through as well but keep an eye on that. NVIDIA might be setting up for a bit of an upside move. One of the things that we've also been seeing is we've been seeing a little bit of an improvement here in some of the retail stocks. And then all of a sudden, they kind of fell apart. As you can see right here, uh, JWN, and let's take a look at this. JWN was rallying up, trying to look pretty good here in the chart. It is going to report here on the 22nd. But unfortunately, we have a pattern here where we failed to broke support rally back and showing a little bit of bearishness um, in that price action so I would be watching maybe um, JWN for a potential short and we've been seeing some of these companies uh, pulling back here on that retail side just recently showing just a little bit of pressure here coming in on Friday although they've they've broken back down they rejected some resistance in the chart we've broken some of these upside trends and we're seeing um, the same kind of thing here in Target where we may be running into a little bit of trouble here. We broke that little upside trend. So I would watch maybe some of these retailers, if they start to show a little bit of pressure, they may actually be setting up short in the market. Let's take a look at some other places. Take a look at Valero Energy. Valero, boy, this thing has been a volatile son of a gun right in here. Um, holding on to this um, breakout, as you can see, but we whipsaw up and whipsaw back down. But I gotta tell you, I think there's some pretty good options 
opportunity here in um, some of these refiners. We know we have a major um, shortage in diesel supplies out there right now, and those refiners are going to have to run um, over capacity, and then a couple of them have been running over capacity to try and meet that demand. So watch that carefully here, Valero. You might take a look at Halliburton. Um, you might want to take a look at Schlumberger. Um, anything in that refining um, area here could be setting up nicely. And considering that, take a, also take a look at oil exploration here. Sorry for the misspeak there. As you can see, rig holding up and breaking through resistance popped hard hard last Thursday, pulled back a little bit on Friday. Let's watch and see if this can hold this upside trend in here. Might need a little bit of rest. It's a really steep trend as you can see, but that opportunity that we may push on through. Now you do wanna consider this carefully, this downtrend in the chart, that's something to watch. So watch that carefully. There could be a little bit of resistance um, coming through in that. Now, um, before I move on, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post, post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please also do me that favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube, I mean, click that um, um, thumbs up button and leave a brief comment comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and I just want to say thank you for everyone who takes the time to do that I truly truly appreciate it let's take a look at a couple other stocks that may have some opportunities in here we'll want to watch them pretty closely um, take a look at Disney now, Disney is going to be reporting coming up here on the 8th and it's been trapped in a kind of a choppy zone here as you can see we've been struggling in this area of the chart might be worth keeping an eye on it as it goes into earnings. If it happens to pop through to the upside, um, watch that carefully. Now, we still have this downtrend um, to deal with, um, but we've sure seen Netflix um, holding up and doing pretty well here after its earnings report. Obviously, it's pulled back here recently, but it's holding above a big support level. So we're getting some of those maybe streaming things trying to come back here just a little bit, trying to show a little bit of bullish, bullishness. So Disney might be something to be paying attention to here this week. On the short side of things, take a look at CRM. Oh my goodness, Salesforce really fell apart here. Watch this um, support level in here as we test it and see whether or not it can hold. But I think any rally back in Salesforce might set up that next opportunity short. So uh, run into some price resistance in that chart. That could be a problem. Some of these big tech guys are running into lots and lots of trouble. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for, so much for listening. I do appreciate it. Y'all take care. Have an awesome day. We'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. I wish you all the best.